that fur and birds that fly Dogs on wells looking at the sky Anything you want to be is done with clay so easily Have some fun with your new devotion That's the spirit of clay motions How many legs? on one leg like that? Because I'm being a heron. Are herons supposed to stand on one leg? It's more comfortable to stand on two legs. It's even more comfortable to stand on four legs. I wonder who has four legs. There are many animals who have four legs. A cat and a mouse and a crocodile and a raccoon. Can an animal have even more legs? Yes, of course. They can have six legs like beetles, grasshoppers, and bees. These animals are creatures called insects. Oh, oh, I want to have eight legs. I want eight legs too. Then you can be an octopus. Octopi and spiders are eight-legged animals. I want to be Megalect! Okay, then. How would you like to be a centipede? Would you like that? A centipede? <laughs> wow! 40 legs! <laughs> I have the most legs now! Is it possible to move around without any legs? Yes, it is. For example, worms and snakes don't have any legs, and they get along just fine and live quite happily. So one can lie down and slide about without legs. That's what I like to do. And I really like jumping. Look! And I really like running. Like me! Kittens. Hello. Hello there. Meow. Why did you just say meow? I'm being a little kitten, and kittens always say meow. And do kittens do anything else? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> kittens love to play. <laughs> meow. Do you know if kittens can fly too? Hmm, fly? Let me check. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. You're so silly. Kittens can fly. Oh. Kittens cannot fly, but they can climb up tall trees. And they're also pretty good at climbing down curtains, too. I want to try. It looks like fun. Are there any cats that are bigger? Of course. Tigers are big cats. Very, very big cats. And so are lions. What about me? I want to be a type of kitten, too. Uh, what is this? What are all these spots? You're a leopard. Leopards are super beautiful. Cats are domesticated, meaning they live in people's homes. But leopards and lions are wild and live in the jungle. But do we still get to go meow? Not quite. You get to roar like this. Rawr. Rawr. are they? I think one of them is a doggy. Woof! And the other one is probably a fox, because she's orange and she says ruff. Ruff! A doggy and a fox are related, so they speak in a very similar way, except a doggy is domesticated. And a fox is wild. <laughs> Then I guess 
I'll be a doggy. I love being domesticated. Wow, you are such a long doggy. Well, that's because he's a special kind of doggy for crawling into holes. It's called a dachshund. Oh. By the way, a dachshund is a hunting doggy, and it happens to hunt foxes. Oh, no. <laughs> Bless you. Now better take good care of your nose. Why is that? Because noses are very important for all doggies. They have the keenest sense of smell. With the help of their noses, they can find anything that's lost or hidden away. What other kind of doggies are there? There are big dogs and small dogs, ones with long fur and short fur, cute ones and fierce ones. Doggies with curly and pretty fur. Doggies like that are nice and funny. And sophisticated dogs. The most important thing is that we are all people's faithful friends. Who is stronger? Hi there. What are you doing? I'm moving. Do you need any help? Mm -hmm. My goodness, this is some docks. My toys are in there. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's going to take somebody stronger. Just turn into. Well, I read in a book that bulls are very strong. Oh no. Well, maybe there's somebody stronger? Of course there is. For example, an elephant. An elephant is much stronger than a bull is. There are Indian elephants and African elephants. And African elephants are actually stronger than Indian elephants. Oh no! No one can seem to pick up my box. Not even the strongest elephant in the world. Well then, how about we try a very strong scarab beetle? Oh! But the scarab beetle is so He small. may be small, but he is also skillful and very capable. Scarab beetles are really strong for their size. So strong that they can pick up a weight a thousand times bigger yeah. than themselves. Oh, wow! Will you be able to move my box for me? A scarab beetle is strong because it can pick up something much heavier than itself. Yeah. But even a thousand beetles weigh less than this big box of toys. Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you try to move it all together? Hooray! We're finally moving it! Oh. Oh. Uh. Close for the invisible one. One... Two... Three? Oh, where should I hide? I know where. What about me? Four, five, ready or not, here I come. Whoa, where are you? I give up. How come I didn't notice you over there? Because they have what is called camouflage. A zebra is stripy like a fence, and a butterfly looks like a bright flower. Camouflage? What's that for? To defend themselves from those who want to try and catch them, or in order to sneak up on someone without being spotted. Well, I'd like some of this camouflage, too. Then you can be a little gray hair. And in the winter, when the snow falls, the hair will change its fur coat from a gray one to white. Is there a way that I can change my clothes more than just twice a year? Well, you could be a chameleon. Then you would be able to change your colors several times a day. <laughs> now I'm number one!
And I'm super beautiful. And I'm a zebra. I look like a piano. A beautiful thing that's black and white. Who is faster? Ready, get set, and go! Why aren't you running? Well, I'm a turtle. I'm not really in a hurry. Turtles are slow animals, and they never rush anywhere. Nay! Why did you say nay? He said nay, because he is a fast horse. That's right! <laughs> I'm a very fast horse! Nay! Oh, then I'm going to be even faster! Like, uh, like what? Well, maybe like an ostrich. Ostriches are very big birds with very strong and very long legs, which makes them great runners. Yes! I'm the fastest one now! Not really. The fastest runner in the world is a cheetah. Wait, a cheetah? What's that? Great! I'll be a cheetah then! A cheetah is a wild cat who looks like a leopard. Grr! Except a cheetah's legs are longer, and its spots are much smaller. Grr! <gasps> oh, no! I'll catch you all! Grr! <laughs> oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. Uh, uh, you really are very fast. Speed! It's a very useful thing. Why is it so useful, huh? You know, so I can catch up with someone. Grr! And then we can go and have breakfast together. Having breakfast together is always a great idea. I'm already here. And I didn't have to rush. Who's the biggest? can be someone even bigger. That's right. The biggest terrestrial animal on land is the African elephant. Uh, 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 uh. Well, maybe I could be someone even taller. Yes, the giraffe is the tallest animal in the whole world. Why can't I reach? But we are the biggest animals. At least on land. But there is someone even bigger in the ocean. It's called the blue whale. It's the biggest animal in the whole wide world. I think I have an idea. Wow! <laughs> Hooray! I've been saved by the African elephant, who's the biggest on land, and the blue whale, who's the biggest animal in the whole world. By the very clever blue whale. Pass me the ball. Nah, -uh. I'm the goalie, and I caught the ball. Na -na -na. 